Hey, do I need this? Okay, I don't think he liked me knocking that down. Hey, bro. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Poppy Graybeard horror game. This one is called Madness Inside. And it's creepy. Look at that. That's creepy as hell. So this game, Madness Inside, is a psychological horror walking simulator. Lieutenant Vic Voigt chasing a dangerous criminal unexpectedly finds unexpe unexpe unexpectedly unexpectedly finds himself in this dark place where horrifying experiments once took place. Players will explore dark corridors, solve puzzles, which I suck at, and gather clues to uncover the hospital's secrets and find a way out. As they progress, reality blends with nightmares, creating a tense atmosphere of psychological horror. So I'm gonna go in there, I'm ready to get my brains scrambled. But before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and hit that little bell. That way you know my videos go live for you. You can check out all my videos at youtube.com slash poppygraybeard. You can also check me out on TikTok at tiktok.com slash poppygraybeard. Or you can watch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash poppygraybeard. All right, this guy's impatient. He's impatient. So let's let's rock and roll. Let's get this party started. Cause I ain't playing no games. I mean, I'm playing a game, but you know what I'm saying. All right. Field of view. I don't know. Depth of, of field. On smooth camera, head bobbing, definitely off. Cause I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go like that. And I don't wanna get like that. All right. All right, everything looks good. Stop knocking so loud. I'm down. I'm ready. Let me get comfortable. Put the shoulders into it. Okay, I'm ready. There we go. Reality often surpasses fiction by Frank Thiele. 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 Okay. Okay, this must be heaven. Okay, it's not heaven. Hey, twice. Answer machine. The subscriber cannot answer the phone. Dude, the trees are tripping. They're like, you know, what are you doing? What are you trying? This is Lieutenant Vic Voigt. Oh, you all read it? I'll let y'all read it. He dead. Oh, he dead. He dead. He's in coffee. Cool. All right. Am I in the hospital? Am I in jail? All right, it was all a dream. Damn, I got pee pee. Look, at I got the pee pee on the floor. Bro, there's pee stains on there. I'm sleeping on that. I had my head right there. I mean, you know, it is it is what it is. We're, he's in a tough place. Okay, here's the light. It's right here. All right. How ironic that it all started here and will end here. P.S. D.H. I don't know what that means. What does it mean? I don't know what that means. All right. Well, open this door. Maybe there's something behind the closet. Oh. Oh, okay. Popping bulbs and stuff. I don't know what bulb popped because that one's still on. But hey, I ain't judging. Are you talking about back here? Okay. So what happened? Can I open it now? Let's see. Nope, still can't open it. So behind the closet. Now, answer me this. Riddle me this. Oh, look at that. That's my closet. What? Get out of here. Go, go get it, boy. Go get it. This whole time I've been in there, I didn't know that that was a, an escape route. That's kind of weird. Wait, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's where 
<laughs> Who's crying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you okay? Press this button. No. Are you crying? Are you are you, are you sad? You're sad. Well, I can't let you out, bro. I tried. Okay, what is that? Well, this is a bunch of stuff, but I don't think it's important. But that says hide all over the wall. Hello, hide, help. Hello. Bunch of H stuff. Okay, there's a light here, so. Do I need those papers? Can I squat down? Nope. Okay, can I open this door? Nobody in there. None of those lights? Nope. All right. All we can do is move forward. Throwing sticks at me. That's cool. <gasps> Look! Right off the bat! A flashlight! Got it. No, I want it. Take it, stupid. Okay, there you go. Arsenal. Worker in a place like this? I know, I know, I know. Okay, so am I supposed to go in here? Or am I supposed to go down there? Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go in here first. It's just in theory. <coughs> What's wrong? What's coughing? Sounds like somebody's... I could hear people working. Office! Okay, look at this. Here's the key! Office key. Now we're I said office. And, okay. Alright. These lunatics! Oh! The mentally ill? Of course! Dr. Strauss demands that we say mentally ill in the face of psychos so they are supposedly better off. Tell your evil face monsters that your visions that are no longer crazy, that you are no longer crazy, you have already been promoted to psycho psychophernic. Right? Don't judge me. I can't say that word. Psychophernic. Schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. <gasps> All right. And I, I, I think that's how you say it. But if that's how you say it, I'm close enough. Okay. Just got out of just random sounds, just kicking shit. All right. I mean, I'm already scared. So. Flashlight. Oh my god. Saw that? Okay. Does it run out? Nope. Doesn't look like it runs out, so it's a good thing. What does that say? Take your clothes off? Okay. Alright, it's a soda machine. Bunch of pills on the floor and shots, paperwork, Midol, pampering. It works. Alright. This is this is uh it's backwards up there, but you know, it's December 31st, 2017. Before I went into Brazier's Brazier, Dr. Strauss promised me that the rabbit will bring me a pocket watch. They are watchmakers and control the watch industry all over the world. I've been dreaming about them since childhood, but it's been a long time. I can't even say how, how long, but the rabbit never came. The emotional. It can be seen that rabbits have problems with the supplies of watches. You know? I just heard something, but... Maybe that was outside. Can I get a soda? I hear humming. Oh, this is right there. I love you so much. Hello, future me. There's no future me. This is future me. I don't know what that says. Okay. All right. So, got to turn these lights? No, but look. Oh, gling, gling. Okay. Okay. Okay, that just means progress. You know, gotta make it all, you know. Gling, gling, gling. Oh, okay. Um, what could you, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay. Hello. I might just let that, but. Can live door on me? Okay. All right, there's a bunch of notes. <clears throat> Many patients have a rather interesting disease, namely, catastroph catastrophia. Close enough. The fear of mirrors. 
we should have an orderly, we should have an orderly remove all the mirrors from the hospital. Several cases of synesthesia. I'm butchering this whole thing, but we're gonna move forward. Were found. Let's play basketball. Is that a PS5? No, it's not. Okay. All right, just making sure. We're finding patients in ward number 12. Some of them reported seeing sounds and feeling colors. It is possible that exposure to the environment and personal associations may exacerbate symptoms. It is recommended to conduct, conduct additional research and determine that these that what factors can cause such experiences. I need to familiarize myself once again with the medical history, the feature of in, inpatient treatment and the psychological characteristics of the patient from war number six. The initial analysis revealed indefinite treatment for the diagnosis of depression and anxiety, neurosis. Whatever. He also claims that he belongs to a certain cult of the rose and something else. Sounds like a song. The rose and the grave, right? Something like that. Oh, here's the mouse. Okay, pick this up. <gasps> I played that game, Hazing. I played that game. Um, admit it to... This is a lot to read. It's a lot to read. We're going to try. We're going to go for it. Admitted to uh, psychiatric hospital number 347 at 529, 2016. War number two, diagnosis, stress-induced psychosis, paranoid schizophrenia, uh, and hallucinations and delusional ideas. Medical history. According to the patient, he worked as a police officer and arrived at a call where he found a murdered family. The patient claims that a demon committed the murder, which led him to believe in the need to perform a ritual for purification. The officer himself buried the bodies in the backyard and performed the ritual actions, believing that, the, that this would save the souls of the victims and prevent further attacks by the demon. Psychiatric evaluation. The patient underwent a thorough psychiatric examination during which signs of severe psychosis and paranoid schizophrenia were revealed. Don't judge me. He experienced, the, he experiences, he experiences severe hallucinations and a belief in the existence of demons. He also displays a high degree of anxiety and paranoia, considering himself a protector from supernatural threats, which manifests this, itself in this aggressive action and ritual practices. Treatment and dynamics. The patient is, is, is prescribed a complex therapeutic course, including antipsychotic drugs to stabilize his mental state, as well as antidepressants to relieve anxiety symptoms. Regular psycho psychotherapy, impressed, is carried out to clarify delusional ideas and reduce the level of paranoia. Work is underway to create a safe and predictable environment to reduce stress and anxiety. Prognosis. The prognosis is guarded. Given the complexity and severity of the patient's condition, long-term psychiatric observation and regular medical intervention are required. Progress in treatment depends on the degree of response to drug therapy and psychotherapeutic thera methods. All right, that's a lot. There's a lot going on there. Okay, I turned on my flashlight for some reason. Okay, so I close it. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Okay, open drawers. Maybe open door and learn them last and low. All right, with well, this door closed, can I play the piano? I could play the piano. Oh, look at these symbols. Here we go. Are 
but he didn't stop. I can't open the door. So how am I supposed to play sounds on here without knowing where these symbols are at? Let's see. Okay. Got okay, missing something. Did that paper had a bunch of symbols on it? The one I was just looking at? Let's see. <sighs> no, it didn't. No symbols. Okay. How am I supposed to know what symbols to press? All right. There's shots everywhere. Um. Okay, so. All right, so. Go on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I did it. Oh, that was beautiful. Throw them open. What am I? Here we go. Any symbols on the walls? These are not symbols, right? No, they were just regular. Can I turn these around? Hold on. Okay. That's one. That's two. What? Oh! Hey! Are we friends? Are we buddies? Are we pals? Why is there a book in front of your... F okay, do I need this? Okay, I don't think he liked me knocking that down. Hey, bro. Ah! Alright. That was cool. That was cool. You know? It is what it is what it is. Could I leave now? Oh, look. No, I thought so. Still closed. Oh, look at that. I gotta play that four times, right? Okay. Uh, which was that one? Which was that one? Oh, the last one. Okay. I did it. That looks like that last symbol, right? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Here's a V. Okay, so it's in order. Look at that. Okay, so question mark, the V. Three lines, question mark, V. Swiggly lines, question mark V, swiggly lines. All right, so question mark V, swiggly lines, and this one. I did it right, or is there more? Is there more? One. I gotta do one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. All right, there's something else in here. Okay. So that that one's three. Question mark. The V. Okay. So question mark. The V. Three lines. And this one. Nothing. Okay, question mark. Right? 
the V, swiggly lines, and then this. I did it. What am I missing? I gotta grab them all. And I gotta pick them all up. Right, that's usually what happens. I gotta touch them. Okay. Okay. I picked them all up, right? Push the mark. The V. V for what? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Progress. Question mark. The V. Three lines. I heard it open. See, isn't that crazy? Something else open. Oh, that open. Okay, what is that? A key? And a letter. Admitted to Psychiatric Hospital 347 on 518, 2017. Ward 38, diagnosis, acute schizophrenia, memory loss. Medical history, the patient was admitted to a psychiatric hospital after a series of violent incidents. Preliminary data indicate that David killed nine people using a screwdriver. The patient had no known history of mental disorders up to this point. Psychiatric evaluation. The patient is a complex case of acute schizophrenia. I'll get it one day. At times, pronounced psychotic symptoms are evident, including hallucinations and delusions. 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 Doesn't sound right. There is significant dis disorientation in time and space. The loss of memory makes it difficult to conduct a detailed analysis of the patient's history. Treatment and progression. The patient is receiving intensive therapy, including antipsychotic medications to control the symptoms of schizophrenia. Psy psychotherapy and rehabilitation sessions are also conducted to restore memory and mitigate social impairment. Measures are taken to ensure the safety of staff and others. Prognosis. The prognosis remains poor due to the complexity of the clinical picture. The patient's insanity requires long-term monitoring. The safety of others is a priority. And in the long term, the patient requires ongoing medical intervention. All right, that's a lot of stuff. There's a key there. Mm -hmm. Do you want to play? No, but do you want to play? Okay. I got a key. I keep hearing doors open and closing. Why is that? Need to find out where it came back. Came back here and bought and brought me. Okay. And find his room. Maybe I can find something there. Maybe you can. Where's my boy at? Where's my boy? Okay, with those doors open. Guess I have to go this way. I'm guessing. Just a wild guess. Missing a ball, but hey. Abandon hope. Are ye? Who? Enter here. Dante's. That's what I just said. Okay. Yeah, I just read that. Okay, cool. Okay, look. Wow. I'm watching you. Sometimes it feels like somebody's watching me. Actually, you know, that's just fucking platinum right there. All right. Let's see. Cool. Oh! Oh my God. A lot of eyes and blood. Okay. All right. Hot breath. Oh, hey. Oh, sh okay. All right. Here, puppies. Are those puppies eating? Sounds crunchy.
No, I'm not ready yet. Close it. What am I hearing? Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, puppies. It's your puppies. Where's the puppies? Okay, the door's still open. Don't close behind me, stupid. What? 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 Nothing? Nothing? Okay, it's like a maze. Okay, keeps going this way. Cool, cool. Okay, can I open this door? No. Can I look inside? Can't jump. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. The paper right there. I'm sure I could read that. Yep. A toilet and a bowl. Oh my god. Dr. Miller says that each ward is our cozy corner. Isolated from the outside world. She is convinced that there is only chaos and danger on the upper floors. I try to accept it, but I constantly feel that something's myst something mysterious is hiding in the corridors. That's cool. Something in the toilet? No? Okay. Okay, can't open that. There must be an electrical panel that opens these doors. Hmm. Hey, hmm. Where would that be at, right? Where would that be? Oh! Stop it. There it is right there. Just give me the light. Shine upon. Let me, I need a key, right? The key of the lock must be somewhere at the entrance. Wow, at the entrance. I gotta go all the way back, is what you're saying? Hmm? Hmm? Is that what you're saying? Like in here, right? Okay. Entrance. Okay, so that door's closed. So it's not in there, obviously. Obviously. Shit, maybe not. Okay, let me see. Let's look around here. What's that? I got a key! I can't run. It's like I could run, but it's like slow. See? It's like jogging. There you go. Let there be light. All right. Woo! Progress. I hear humming. A lot of humming. Those bones? Who's knocking? You crying again? I feel like I've been here. Hi, you okay? Why are you crying? Don't get up. Don't get up. Close the door. Close it. You better not come at me. You okay? It's too bright. You okay? Sir? Oh shit! <laughs> oh man. All right, scream like a girl, but hey, you know what? It's okay. Damn. All right, reality. Everyone thinks that the brain has no direct connect connection in reality. We perceive the world through our senses, which transmit information to the brain, where it is transformed into a picture of reality. This is how it works for most people. But with schizophrenia, I'm never going to get that. The signals are distorted. The brain creates a false picture by adding non-existing information. People can hear voices and see things that don't exist. Your reality is different from the objective one. All right. Cool. What's in here? Okay. All right. What's this? High voltage. Could I open that? Okay. Okay. Cool. So now what? I go in here. Okay. Oh, we're gonna play chess? Oh, the cross is upside down. You know what that means? 
<gasps> There's blood. Somebody's somebody needs a pad or something. I'm just saying. I could be wrong. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's a lot of days in here. There's checkers, chess. There's a book. What does that say? Amica Games. Pieces of me. In the 1960s, the city was so happy to open the doors to students at the new school number one. But no one could imagine the madness would reign within these walls, sowing panic throughout the city. The year is 2009. The main character, Grisha, goes to the city of his childhood in search of the missing sister. Uh... After the story in a creepy village, Grisha cannot calm down and rely on himself. That was a girl. He visits an, an abandoned school in order to find at least some clues about the whereabouts of his sister. Cool. What is this? That's a, you're going to close on me? You're going to close on me. Now what? The toy's not even working. Okay, how am I supposed to get out of here? Oh my God. Please let there be a key around here. Is there a key? The toilet, maybe? What is that? Poop? Okay, there's poop in there. What is that? Toothbrush. Oh my God. Uh oh, there's a hidden drawer in the board. Maybe try to finish the game. Oh shoot, before he comes in. Um, I don't know how to play it. It looks like a rubric checkmate, but you need to move. The Rook to be one. Oh my god. B1 is right here. Okay. Okay. There it is. Got some cards. Take them. And a letter. Unhappy men mentally ill people live within these walls who were... Then buried in the local cemetery, society rejects those whose minds are sick, treats them as infected. Did these special creatures understand? They're about to break in. I'm trying to read this thing. Why they were locked up in the clinic? Did they consider themselves normal or were they aware of their own insanity? It's funny how the behavior of the insane always entertains the same PSDX. I don't know what that means. Okay. Are we good now? We're good now? Can I come out? Hell yeah, there we go. Peace. Is that a bomb? What's that sound? Talk to me how to play ch chess. And what if we don't know how to play chess? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Building open. <gasps> they all opened. What do I do? Okay, nothing in here, just bricks. Okay. Nothing in here, just a bed. Okay, if that's what you call that. Ah! Okay. Ah. I'm still gonna look around. Okay, there's the toilet with rags and stuff. And another room with a bunch of orbs. And somebody was just in here from that room and ran into that room. Right? Oh! That's the Ace of Space, DH's business card. Oh! No! No, 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 no. Okay. All right. He's drained. He's pretty drained. In my opinion. Okay. Okay, okay. No! Stop it! What's your... <laughs> oh my god I'm like I wasn't even scared at one time that's the that's the fun part about this you know I, I wasn't even scared at one time all right that was crazy thanks for playing all right well that was the game madness inside that was a demo Please make sure that you check the, the full game on Steam. It will be available soon to play the full thing. And I will make sure that I get to that game. And we're going to play it. All right? So if you enjoyed this game, this if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell. That way you know my videos go live. You can check out all my videos 
at youtube.com slash poppy graybeard. You can also check me out on TikTok at tiktok.com slash poppy graybeard. Or you can watch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash poppy graybeard. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, peace, y'all.